Welcome back to the Let's Play. We... How many tokens are we at? 86. I... I think at 100, I might do an Eden run and see what we can work with, or 200, or just keep going. We'll we'll see, I don't know. Samson. I'm... I haven't played Samson in a while, I can dig it. Um, our... You know, we want IV Bag is, like, our number one deal. I, IV Bag is so good with Samson. Or some way to damage yourself without, like, caring that you're damaging yourself. And on this first floor, we don't care too much. This guy is a little bitch. There we go, though. And we did it for the pleasure of four spiders and, I guess, a key. We're looking for a bomb. I did see that tinted rock. This guy... Okay, so we do get our tinted rock. I wouldn't mind small rock. Uh, spirit hearts are desired. Or spirit heart uh, also works very well. Argument for um, taking it at the end of the level instead of at the beginning, so I have it for the next floor. Counterpoint, I don't care. I think we're going to be fine. It's Samson, not uh, you know, don't make you some trashy character like that, so... I mean... <laughs> As we get hit, whatever. I I don't care too horribly much either way, honestly. We'd like a bomb. Let's uh okay, famine. I think he gives us a spirit heart, this color of him. Sounds kinda racist, like the other color other color just gave us like tacos or something. This this color, you can't dance. Is that is a specific group of people, like I say can't dance, I was taking a shot at white people, because you know, slam the others, slam myself a little. Um, are there like, did anything else like pop up in your mind when I said that? Like I'm thinking of, you know, um, there's the classic scene from The Office where, you know, they're doing the stereotype thing, and Dwight gets bad driver, and someone says, you know, if I had to, or Pam, I think it's Pam, like, oh, if I had to, uh, do this, I would say you're a bad driver. And he's like, oh shit, am I a woman? And it was actually Asian. Like, are there... Are there something? Box of spiders, by the way. Um, it's alright. It's like shitty Guppy's head. Is there, like, any other demographic that I'm... Like, that could be... Oh, they, they can't dance. I don't know. Like, I guess, like, yeah, it's it's white people, but I'm thinking, like... Other other demographics, but all white, certainly. You know, like, a teenage girl gets out there doing the, uh... Doing the shopping cart, right? Like, she, you know, okay, you're picking a you're picking a can of soup off the shelf. I, I get what you're doing, just please stop. Um, this is prom. And it's probably not the most magical night of your life. And, you know, doing the shopping cart out on the floor there to the Macarena. Probably not gonna make it more magical. Ah, I think, was it junior prom? Junior junior prom is like the big one, right? Um, yeah, seniors, it's like homecoming, and it, this is, this is American, mind you. I, from my experiences in the Netherlands, I can tell you that other countries don't necessarily do this shit. Um, I don't know about Canada, for example, which is, you know, I, I know a few more people from Canada than I do the Netherlands, so chance of them watching are a little higher. Is that like a thing? Like juniors have prom, seniors have homecoming, no one really cares actually because it's all meh. I figure we should get this fire out of the way at least. Okay, that expedited the process a little. I don't mind getting hit too badly as Samson because at least we like get something for it. Uh, key is okay. But I just remember, like, my junior prom, like, I just didn't care. I think me and my me and my buddy just, like, chilled at my house. We did some baking, you know, because what else are you going to do? We, we did suit up, though. Like, I straight up texted him, like, suit up. We're going to come over here. We're going to, like, make food. We're going to, like, make dessert, cookies. We're going to watch Lord of the Rings. And that's, that is exactly what we did. And I wouldn't describe the night as magical. I would describe the night as very... I suppose average for my high school. Explosive diarrhea is not cool. I wish I would have n known that door was there, or like comprehended that I could have used explosive diarrhea by it. I suppose that's how it goes sometimes. 
item room I feel like will be down here. Totally was, called it. But yeah, you know, it's... I don't, senior year, I don't even know if I went at all or did anything. Like, it's... I don't know, you just... Uh, it wasn't real dancing. You always hired some crummy DJ, he plays the Macarena, he plays... Uh, Oh, I can't even... I can't even think of it. I can't even slide to the left. I, ah, shit. Why... I can't remember what it's called. Rune bag is definitely the better uh, buy there. What? I can't think of what that... Um, what that song actually is. This is just, it's not the slide. That's a, that's a different song. I, is it, uh... I can, like, I can, like, picture it. I can almost picture the lettering and stuff. I just can't think of it. We got two chariots. Um, I, I can't think of what it's called. I, oh, well. I, you know, slide to the left. I'll clap through time. Boop, boop. Uh, Charlie Brown now, y'all. That guy. It's, uh... Shit. I'm, like, so close to being able to actually grasp what it's called. I just can't. I don't think it's gonna happen. We'll, we'll give up. I... Actually, don't like the song. Oh, Cotton Eye Joe is also a uh, classic, uh, classic prom fodder. Kind of want to buy another Spirit Heart, but we're probably good here. Between he would do this one like right away. Super disappointing, but we did get it. Uh, barely, if barely. Let's open for per throw. That's just wow. Slinging out with the uh, red chest today. Uh, let's just head on down, I guess. We got Rune Bag. We have Elgiz. Elgiz. I don't. The hard G sounds a lot better to me in this particular case. Elgiz. Elgiz. Instead of like Elgiz. I, I'm sorry. What did you just call me? Like it's. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I'm sure that's how it's originally pronounced. It's probably a religious reference at some point in keeping the theme with the rest of the game. Um, we don't have any bombs, so I think Anarchist Cookbook might actually be a tiny bit better. If I come across, like, double steam sail hive mind, I may reconsider that position. Or, like, car battery hive mind, something like that. Oh, excuse me. Ah. I'm yawning. It's like, uh, it's only like 540. It's not, uh, it's not yawning weather. And, you know, Cotton Eye Joe was, I, I don't know if I mentioned that and, like, lost my train of thought or if I didn't mention it, but Cotton Eye Joe, like, why? Well, it's literally by a band called Rednecks, and that's, uh, on top of that, they don't even, like, you'd think they'd have more songs, I guess, but at the same time, I guess, why would they? At any rate, that, that always got played, and I thought that was more of a, more of a solidly American thing, and it really wasn't, like, that, uh, that popped out a lot in the Netherlands as well. And I, or at least it, to the degree that everyone knew what it was. It was kind of frustrating because I'm sitting here like I I came all the way to your country. I, it's like 3,000 miles across the ocean. I you know, took a fairly expensive plane ride here. And now you, I'm hoping to experience the culture. Hoping to see what, you know, what foods you eat, what music you listen to. And you bust out Cotton Eye Joe. It's uh, not judging you. I'm just saying I'm not angry. Just disappointed. Oh, it's worth a shot. Pretty Fly is pretty good. I think it's probably like the joke, you know, everyone makes that joke like every time. We're just gonna pop out of this. I think we've effectively like fucked up our, uh, oh my god, we can't even get in there. Just do it. Um, I think we've effectively fucked over our deal with the devil chance. But I hate this room just enough where I think it's kind of worth. I mean, at this point, we should just, like, pray for a uh, spirit heart in the shop and go nuts. Such those enemies. Got a bomb, finally. Ooh, but you know what's almost better than a, uh... Can we get both? We're so close. Oh, no, we can't get both. I'm good at math. Okay, right on. 
Yeah. Yep. Um, that's about right. Oh god. That's dangerous. Is there another one? I don't think there was another one. That'd be a little much to ask for. I remember with like double chests that each have a spirit heart though, please. Okay, we really need to stop. Like we just need to kind of cut that out. Elegis and Zeus. I popped it here because a single... We don't have uh, bombs and that was probably a bad plan. Oh boy. It totally worked somehow. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This is bad. This is dangerous. Okay, we're fine. We did get bombs. Give me black hearts, spirit hearts. Well, nothing to it but to do it. Just fuck them up. Wow, we did it somehow. Oh, God. I don't like the cut of that guy's jib. Okay. Okay, I don't think there's any way we can die here. That We need a full health, though. We're close. That, uh, that was a roller coaster. We do have... Wait, no, we have hearts in here. What am I... Why did I... I don't know why... <laughs> I was, like, thinking we're still on the spirit heart plan from last run, I guess? Anyway, all's well that ends well, I suppose. This is interesting. Probably could have actually, like, given him some keys. Don't know what we would have hoped for. If we can, like, remove all of our, um, red hearts, that'd be nice, because then we can get three free spirit hearts. As long, like, see, Anarchist Cookbook is actually pretty good if you are trying to clear rooms a little bit faster. The guys... I'm banking hard on this one. Not gonna lie. It could be okay. The luck up is nice. Um, if we can get to our shop, we are in a very good spot. Ooh... All good. Definitely no. Nope. I'm okay with this one, actually. He does quite a bit of damage. The mild homing is nice. Like, if we weren't taking Gimpy, I don't know what else we were gonna take. I don't have any bombs to even check those guys. Can we, uh... Like, maybe... Nope. Close. Okay, so we don't have to worry about you. Let's see if we can get this guy popped correctly. We couldn't. We did get keys, though. I think this should be our shop. Yes. Kind of tempting to buy the... You know what, let's just do one of these. Well, worked about as well as it could have. Like, we're really close here. Um, we have Humbling Bundle. That guy's annoying. Um, we're close to popping off. If we can just, like, hold in there for, like, a deal with the devil or an arcade something. We're, we're close. We're close and I'm still feeling pretty good. The bombs are nice. Let's go back and see what card that is. Now we hit LB. There we go. Okay. It's interesting. I'll give it that. Don't know that we actually want it, but it's there. I don't really... Like, that's a horse apiece, honestly. Honestly. 
getting some real lucky uh, pretty fly dodges. We're going to just pop that one off right here right now. Okay, you know, I've also I just thought of this. It's something I'm oddly excited about. For years now, I have wanted to... This feels secrety. I was horribly mistaken, apparently. I have wanted to start watching Downton Abbey, and I haven't because of the classic problem, you know, it's not on Netflix. Why am I gonna bother, though? Okay, it, it's on this side. It's definitely on that side. Okay, well... Is what it is. We just pop this guy right away. What could go wrong? This is actually going all right. Nice. No deal with the devil. Kind of expected. Really happy to have uh, Jesus Juice, though. I've been really wanting for the last few years to watch Downton Abbey, and it's not on Netflix. Come to find out from my friend, and I don't know how long this has been going on and just no one decided to tell me, it is on Amazon Prime Video, which I do not personally subscribe to, but my parents do. Uh, ergo, I have access to Amazon Prime Video. You can understand my excitement. Okay, just dip in. Like, we should, we definitely needed to get in there before Elges wore off. Come on, come on. Cricket's head is really good. Nice, that worked out very well. Don't mind if I do. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's take Callus. I think it's a little better. I think. Not even that it's a little better, I think it's um, a situationally better, and I think overall those items are like kind of a horse apiece thing, and it depends on the player's preference. That's what I think. Guess we gotta take care of you guys first. Yeah, we're, we're starting it a little bit. So now we should be able to walk on snowballs. Snowball? Why? What? Okay, snowball out of control, and we should, you know, I would hope if there are snowballs in the game that we could walk on them, because they're not generally harmful. Um, but, you know, we are starting to snowball, and now we can walk on spikes, and that is just something that I need to remember. Spikes and... Yeah, it's tempting. I don't know... What is this? Depths 1? Yeah. I guess that was, uh, that must have been Degas, because we got hit there very solidly and did not lose anything. That's okay. I guess, yeah, our luck is pretty good, so it's actually, it might be a little bit better than okay. Fight me. Guppy's head? It's fine. Um, not better. I also don't think we're gonna get the boss rush. That'd be kind of a weird circumstance, but I'll keep this card just in case. Don't know why I was coming. To yeah, because we want to go to that mini boss room, probably. I don't even know. It sucks that we have to do two big rooms, but uh, it is what it is. See if we can get some uh, some value here. I'd say yes. All right. You know what? Let's just let's just go. Good work. Is that not it? There's one more somewhere. There we are. Yeah, so I'm I'm really pumped about getting to finally uh it's probably still not as good, honestly. 
really excited about finally starting Downton Abbey, though I probably shouldn't get my hopes too up too much. Like, there is a chance that it's something I, you know, don't enjoy, but I've, I've always been a little curious, you know? Yeah, I, I don't think we're in the market for Boss Rush. I'm sorry? There we go. That's not as good also. Yeah, our luck is must be pretty good. We're almost at a 1-1 ratio here. I think glowing hourglass is probably a bit better. Explosive diarrhea, huh? Hmm. This is going to be an interesting play, I think. Bear with me, I might cut this part out. I might not. That should be good. So we just roll back in here, we donate, and we're gonna do some uh, glowing hourglass shenanigans. Um, I have to fill up commentary now, so I guess my main concern with, um, with Downton Abbey is that it's not what I expect in the sense that, okay, we're gonna need to remember to, uh... Oh no, because we need to buy everything. Okay, so it didn't work as well as I wanted it to. At all. We did, I guess, get it back, I suppose? I still think it's better. Okay. Um, that's kind of sad that I totally misplayed that, but regardless. Um, I'm, I'm just kind of sad that it's a, I can't believe, how did I misplay it that bad? Um, I, like, Game of Thrones, I don't know, man, it's a little violent for me. Like, I, I don't, I forget if I've discussed this before, and I'm not saying necessarily that I'm a, uh, a pacifist or anything, but, you know, if I don't, if I don't got I don't like watching all the, all the random, random violence, it's, uh, it makes me uncomfortable. Honestly, it's not this sucks, like, or even the, the, gay stuff. I, you know, two dudes going at it doesn't necessarily bother me too bad. It's 2016, you know, but uh, there's, there's some violence. It's just not my bag. Like, um, uh, Sopranos, I, I eventually had to just stop. Like, at one point, this guy, like, sent, I mean, there were other factors, to be fair. But, you know, just, like, the senseless violence, and there wasn't really a good character anymore. Even in Breaking Bad, the characters weren't all necessarily bad, and they did have redeeming qualities, if they were, usually, to a degree. But you had the guys to root for, and I just didn't have that in Sopranos, right? I don't know what I wanted from that. Ooh. Don't mind if I do, though. I guess we do the rest of the floor then. And if we can get like a shitload of coins, maybe we do actually come back. But there was a free battery charge. It just would have taken a long ass time. Okay. Well, we'll we'll see. There's a secret room next to here, so I think the easiest path is to just rock up here and do it. Like it's just faster to be able to buy that battery each time. More keys. There we go. I'm not saying it's totally worth it right now, but uh, we're getting closer. I'm telling you, man, riding the luck train to victory. So we go up here, hoping for. Okay, this could be nine lives, though. So that's. I guess that's the hope. It's not. Um, I think we do take the left hand. Uh, there's a lot of interesting things to be done here. I don't really want to donate nine coins at a time. Be 
you know, if you feel that. So let's, uh... No, because that resets all of our coins and we're effectively going in circles. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't make it work on the next floor, shall we? Because it would be nice to get our donation machine back up. Yeah, I think we're, we're fine. We're a little slow, but that's me being, like, nitpicky because it would be nice to get up to 999 on the uh, donation machine again. I don't know that there's a reason not to do uh, split shots. Got a lot of stuff going all over. That's nice. No battery, huh? I'm okay with that. Like, we, we might do that a little bit. I don't know how much. And what I'm expecting to have happen here is us find our boss fight, and then we can backtrack a little bit and do some exploring. That's right, maybe I should, uh... Ooh. Hook me up, hook me up! Okay, well, Charm Tears, not bad. And we have the bomb transformation, which is also not shabby. Like, we're not going to get coins if we don't drop the left hand. Not that we won't get coins, but it's going to be a lot harder to get coins. That's not probably as good. Death. Um, <laughs> has it said that we... Okay, we have totally been in our shop, but it just hasn't said it. Okay, well, let's do one of these again. I, I have no shame, by the way. Like, I will go to 999 on this video if I can. I don't care how long it takes us. I actually do a little. I don't know at what point I wouldn't do it. There is definitely a point, though. 48 hour energy is interesting. That, I don't know, we have PhD. I don't know why I felt the need to, uh... And that was a bomb. Yep. Okay, so I eliminated our curse. 48 hour energy is interesting. So... Let's drop the left hand for now. We'll finish out this floor. And see if we can't uh, get a shitload of coins somehow. That seems alright. If we don't have any other trinket, like, why the hell not? And that arcade could be our key to success. I was really open for coins. But we only have to do two because it is still Acropolis 2, so I'm not I'm not too bent out of shape about it. So the goal of this video is no longer like to actually win, it's just to get our donation machine up, and we'll consider that a win if it is accomplished. Beautiful. That is what we want. That is the good shit right there. Um Yeah, I'll tell you what, do one of those, do one of those. We should be able to just, like, roll on this, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is so nice! Oh, I accidentally went over, uh, a spirit heart. I'm not bent out of shape about it. How far can we take this? Do you have a wooden nickel? Sticky nickel? That's what it is. 
This is such a nice synergy. Yeah, if we get IV bag, we're set. Okay, just hook me up here, dog. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I really want it. That's blood bag. Oh. Whatever. Okay, let's uh let's go donate all of the all of the money. That's really sad. Um if I get a temperance card, I will definitely do that again because this combo is pretty pretty OP. There's our shop. All right, so now I gotta fill for some time here. Um, man, what to talk about even? Like it's crap. I've been I haven't really been up to much. Like classes are fine, I guess. Okay, there's our there's our limit. We should get about like twenty, I suppose. Um, let's walk back out. I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah, classes are going fine. Um, you know, it's just kind of the usual, uh, usual humdrum, I suppose. Like none of there, it's a little bit more difficult. I actually, I'm no longer working at the cheese factory. I told them like, hey, you know, I want to this semester really focusing on my classes, and they are quite a bit more difficult than they have been in previous years. You know, as tends to happen when you, uh, you know, progress in grades. Not that I'm in grade school anymore, but you know. I'm, I'm working my way up, and yeah, I got, um, like, it's psych, it's a botany with a lab, and it's uh, math 110, which is college algebra, at least at my university, that's what the number numbering is. And it's like, is that difficult? Absolutely not. It's not, uh, it's certainly not difficult for many, many people. Oh, and religious studies, and eventually weightlifting, and course. Um, it's, I, a lot of people are like, bro, college algebra is like the most basic algebra there is. Why are you sweating it? And math is not my strong suit. And I'm fortunately in a position, I have many friends who are good at math. I have family members who are engineers. Uh, my girlfriend happens to, you know, have a degree in mathematics. So I have, thankfully, a nice support network of people that can help me and uh, Anya has been helping me very much which is nice um and I have one friend you know hey you have a stereotypical Asian friend just uh you know call on me once in a while I'm like all right so it's not too bad oh man what is uh ah I got like is that a wisdom tooth thing I don't know like part of my uh it's like the back wall of my mouth like it's the bottom like gum huh uh, yep yeah, that's definitely wisdom two stuff like it hasn't popped through the gum yet but it's not coming in like sideways so I've never gotten my wisdom teeth taken out I don't know it's just kind of a choice I it's not it's definitely a choice, but I'm thankful that for me it is in fact a choice. And wow, this is not... This is actually not taking that long. I thought I was going to look up and it was going to be like 40 minutes or some bullshit. But no, we're, uh, we're doing pretty well, I think. That's the last one. We should have like a couple more of this. Like, don't worry. We're going to fill up our donation machine here. It's going to be noise. Uh, I think we'll roll to like... Uh, what's a good number? Probably like 980. Allows for quite a bit of error. Maybe even 990. Um, I don't like going to 999 because if you put one more coin in, the bitch will blow. And not in the fun way. It's, uh, yeah, if you hit what is te what technically would be a thousand, your ass is grass, my friend. Um, it, it blows up, you get a shitload of money. Like, it's a... If you really need it for that run, like, you need all of the money right there. I guess, like, more power to you. I don't know why you would want or need all of it, but, uh, it's certainly a thing. I'm also not quite sure, I guess, like, the... Oh, 
Is our is our time in game resetting? Because I'm like, how is there a um what would it be at this point? Uh, like an eight minute discrepancy between our game our in game time and the recording time. And uh, yeah, that I think glowing hourglass does actually fully reset the time, and I just haven't been paying attention. So let's see, we're at 27:20. Oh, I forgot to pick up the battery. That's my bad. Yeah, it does reset the time. Okay, that would explain the discrepancy. So the pain is almost over. Uh, don't worry. I don't. I I filled it fairly well. You know, talked about class a little bit. Talked about life. Um, yeah, you know, math just isn't my strong suit. So, and the other uh, other classes as well are not that they're not not my strong suit, but. Um, you know, they're getting a little more academic, they're getting a little more, more tough. Uh, in my psychology class, for example, we're supposed to write a report on two of the presidential candidates. Now, uh, for those not in the know, that would be Trump and Hillary. How am I supposed to write a report on the candidates? I don't understand. It's just kind of weird to me, I suppose. Um, I don't really know if I want to keep Bloody Penny or not. We're going to be seeing a lot more chess, so it's kind of tempting. I'll tell you what, let's uh, pick up the left hand. Uh, where is the left hand? Is it? Oh, it's all the way back here. But hey, guys, it's only uh, 27 minutes, so, uh, you know, lay off. We did, we did a bit of, uh, you know, min-maxing, and we did have to set up, so... That is bound to happen. Situations like these. We're now kind of in a place, honestly, to do the hush fight. I don't know that I will. Because that seems kind of silly. But, we're, you know. Yeah. Between Mom's Knife and Keeper Meat, we're doing a lot of damage. We did get our deal with the devil. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. Okay, uh, not that great for us. Sure. I don't mind dipping it a bit here. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to mind like a little bit. Speed up is a-okay. Ah, no, we're still only taking half a heart. It's not like this is a womb. Come on, man. Just, just hook me up here. There we go. That sh that should actually be pretty good. I will take uh, Guppy's head here before I... Now, the question is, do I want Glowing Hourglass or do I want Guppy's head? I think the answer is Guppy's head. I do have another Spirit Art out here. Yeah, let's roll. I'm happy with this run. I'm sorry if it like if you like oh fuck this guy for dragging it on forever. Um, I'm pretty happy though to have finally filled up our donation machine again. That's very nice. It was. Ooh no. Okay, that's right. Like I could feasibly just like go down to shield and end it like right here and now. Um, we'll like just keep that on hand, I suppose. Pills should also be, like, perpetually good. That is a question mark, question mark, question mark pill. Don't fall for its lies again. Yera is beautiful. Um... Tear right is pretty good. I don't think we want it. Use Mascara is one of those where it's, like, it's not a run ruiner, necessarily, but it, like, it just makes it worse. Like, our DPS, yeah, our damage goes way up, but our DPS just goes down the shitter. I'm pretty happy to have XL Womb. Uh, we, you know, we don't have to be here longer than we have to. It's pretty nice. Puberty, don't care. Telepills, don't care. All about that era. That's interesting. That's a weird, I don't think I've ever encountered that room. Oh, 
Oh, now we can just like get in there. That was that was pretty close. Like I didn't, uh, I wasn't like back away in time. Do we have any tinted rocks? I don't think so. No guppy items. Yeah, we'll just keep Yara. Not even like spear arts or anything. That was bad. That was me like looking at a different part of the screen and not registering like where I was on it. So that is also question marks. Don't fall for the lies. Okay, okay, we need to not take quite so bad of damage here. It's pretty nice. Um. Hmm. <laughs> what do we got? Uh. I think we will go no. No luck pennies. Bloat, of course. Gross. We almost did it, but it wasn't too bad. I don't really know where that came from. And we did get PJ, so that's nice as well. I'm not sure where all of our absurd damage is coming from. Not that I'm complaining in the least. Oh, it's because we've gotten hit a shitload, probably. Okay. We just got a little too fast there for our own good. If you saw, like, a completely overshot. Yeah, let's just head on up, I guess. Forty-two minutes. Not that bad. That was unfortunate. Really thought he was gonna fire the opposite way, cause that's uh, that's where he was looking. Just die. Oh, we still get the, uh... Sure, just fuck me up with speed, man. Um... What is, like, the last... Yeah, this run and the last run, just, like, speedy as all hell. I actually really like this. Like, our luck ups, um, with Mom's Eye are actually pretty good. Normally it's just kind of an okay item that occasionally fucks you over if you have, like, Ipecac or something. Hair throw does nothing regardless. I mean, you gotta check that shit. We're like strong, but we're not like godly strong like we were in the last one. That would that just got like silly. Our tears were absurd. Though I'm happy to have PhD. We didn't have, yeah, we didn't have PhD on the last one. We just had uh, a lot of luck, I believe. I think. I don't recall having PhD on the last one. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's honestly kind of what we've been wanting is a uh, way to fly because we are so damn fast. Infamy is also very good. And now we're just like at a sheer numbers game, honestly. Like we're getting enough chess that we are going to see I thought we had Humbling Bundle. Did we not have Humbling Bundle? No, we definitely have Humbling Bundle. I am thinking of... Um... Contract from Below, which is a totally different item. Grab our Spirit Heart. We should be coming up pretty quick on our boss fight here. Okay, come on. There it is. Beautiful. Easy. Stay away. I don't even know, like, does he want- it wants to just have, like, a chance to spawn a, uh, a crawl space and nothing else on this floor? I mean, it's not like you can go back down to, like, a room or something. We might get money equals power on the uh, on the next floor, so it's not like horrible taking that or anything. Not that it's like ever horrible picking up money. I don't think there's an item that actually 
um, punishes you for having it. Burkano is pretty alright. Like, we should be getting pretty close. Like, if it's not this way, I think it's the other way. Either that or I'm very lost and this is a very big floor. Go through here, then we go down. There we are, called it. This makes sense. <laughs> no luck upgrades, I will take the bombs. I can't tell it was, like, Infamy doing work there or something. Like, I couldn't really tell why we weren't, uh, getting hit. And I think our... Uh, yeah, that, may, that one makes sense. Um, I think our damage is, like, deceptively good. Um, it... Because, like, we're doing... We're firing quite a lot of tiers, but, uh, Split Shot is doing some work. I think we have had a few tiers upgrades from Pills, maybe? Like, Sin Robes, it's kind of another, like, run-of-the-mill, uh, not run-of-the-mill necessarily, but, you know, there's, there's no Brimstone, it's not like we have Mom's Knife or something, we're just, like, traditionally strong. So we head on up, and we got Yera, don't forget to pop that, that's happened a couple of times before. I mean, we already have HP, so we might as well take some more. Yeah, sure. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost don't want to take uh, Dr. Fetus now because... Because of this. Yeah, I don't, I'm not taking Di uh, Epic Fetus. Like, this is too good. Look at this. That shit's ridiculous. Our tier effects are too fun, and I think we will be getting more. Ah, there we go. Now I'm not even, now I don't even have the temptation anymore, so problem solved. Because don't get me wrong, it is tempting to be like, you know what, we just like win if we pick up this item. But, our, I like the synergies we got going on right now. Sure, because we need speed and range up. That's, uh, you know, two things we've been lacking on this entire run. They got me. Our range ups must have drastically helped our, uh... Or proptosis, like our short range mega tears. Is that what it is? Proptosis, proptosis. I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly. It was, does nothing really. Sure. Like bloody lust would be really nice. Sister Maggie's okay. She usually doesn't come along for the ride, so it's nice that she's here. God, we're so strong. We're firing as literally as much from our back as we are from our front. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I didn't know if there was like a greater chance rate of the keeper. So we can't, like, totally fuck around here, and it's really hard to see anyway, but, uh, we can basically fuck around. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, I really enjoyed this run, actually. I was a little hesitant at first, but look at our tier. We are just coating this floor, too. Like, how long? Can I just, like, could I coat this entire floor yellow? I, I don't know. Anyway, um, we actually made good time despite spending quite a while at the donation machine. Uh, I hope you bear with me through that. I understand it might get a little dull, but I tried to talk through it, and I think I did okay in that regard. Um, anyway, we had like a double victory. We're at a very, very good spot in our donation machine once again, and we had a fun victory, so I am pretty happy moving forward. I will see you guys in the next episode.